G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, a little while ago, I think it was four or five months, I asked you guys to send in some unpopular opinions because I've got a few unpopular opinions and I wanted to hear your unpopular opinions. And today, we're going to whip through them. So if you've been waiting out for this video for four or five months, today is the bloody day. Right, my first unpopular opinion. An unpopular opinion for mine is that Macca's coffee is some of the best coffee going around. And what have I got here? You would think that they are paying me, but they are not. Any other coffee shop would know that Macca's coffee is some of the best that are bouncing around the area. Uh, Subway, the food chain, used to be one of my favorite places. Used to be probably one of my favorite fast food places to visit, to eat in, to indulge in. But uh, my unpopular opinion is that Subway, Subway sucks. I think they've cut corners recently. And um, yeah, I just think they're doing not a lot right. I don't think the bread is what it used to be. The bread used to be some of the uh, some of the best bread going around, Baker's Delight type type standard. But now it's just doughy and thin and just subpar. I think that Mr. Beast is overrated. Um, I think his videos, I think his content, it's just a bit meh for mine. Oh, he's worked out the algorithm. He, he knows how to clickbait and he knows how to make thumbnails. I think his thumbnails aren't that great. <laughs> and um, I don't think his videos are that clickable. Uh, not all the time, at least. Spotify, uh, you know, one of the, the leading streaming services in the world, would have to have the worst shuffle system in all of streaming services. I often shuffle my Spotify and they'll play three songs in a row from the same artist. They'll play songs that are back to back in the playlist and it just bugs me. So I would say that Spotify's uh, shuffle is one of the worst shuffles you'll ever see. All right, here's a little fish and chip one or a little milk bar one for you. Dim Sims. Dim Sims, one of the great dishes, in my opinion, need to be fried for mine. I have indulged in a soggy, wetsuit tasting steamed dim sim before of course i have but if i was going to a milk bar or a fish and chip shop i would be asking for them to be fried vanilla ice cream is one of the great flavors of ice cream now people sort of look at me and go you're an idiot mcdonald vanilla is just like choosing water it's a neutral color but it's not vanilla is a flavor vanilla ice cream is a flavor it holds up it holds up better than chocolate and certainly better than strawberry, but we don't have to get into that. Uh, for a long time, I was a staunch Coke man. <laughs> don't clip that. But for a long time, I was a, a staunch Coca-Cola man. But recently, and officially, I believe that Pepsi is better than Coke. And for a long time, I never thought that. If you have a Pepsi and you have a Coke, I think this day and age, especially in the, the zero sugar zone, I believe Pepsi Max yeah, is, better, is a better product than coke and i think we can all agree how about this one though written five or six months ago i wrote gut feel is that alan degeneres is mean and now every news article during the week has been talking about how she's um not the nicest person in the world so that is crazy to me that Macca predicted it anyway i got you guys to send in your unpopular opinions so i'm going to go through them now and see uh some of the unpopular opinions that you guys had lord of the rings 87 said sitting down in the shower is better than standing in the shower. Well, we all know why you do it, Lord. I, I would tend to agree. If I've had a long day or if I've played footy or something and I go and just collapse in the shower, it hits differently. Kiri Travelbug said, Beyonce is overrated. Fight me. I have been on the cancel Beyonce train for a long time. Well, not cancel her. She can do her thing. But when people used to say, Bay is God, Queen B, Queen, Queen, I used to go, bloody hell, give it a rest, pest. A bit talented on the mic. Can, can boogie and dance, would have made a good TikToker back in her day, but uh, for me, yeah, Beyonce <laughs> is very overrated, but maybe that's because how like rated she is. Matty White 32, the first and last piece of bread is the best to use for toast. Great call. That is a great call. A lot of people throw those pieces of bread out. I'm not a big sandwich man. Like a sandwich for me is hard to get through. It's a bit just a bit gross, but a roll. I'm a massive fan of the roll, and I, I don't mind toasting a roll, like a panini or a focaccia. Get that in ya. So those two pieces of toast most resemble a panini or focaccia, so I'm all for them, Matty. Uh, Kaholstagram, one of the great friends of the show, says Nickelback is actually a good band. Now, I've got to respect my mate Alex Maloney for uh, flying the flag for Nickelback. He has been a staunch Nickelback supporter for many years, so I'd be interested to see in the comments how many people are with Kahol, because... Um, 
they're not up my alley. They are certainly not up my alley. But he flies the flag for them often, and I you've just got to respect that. Hallie Watt. Hal, Hal Watt. I can't read it right, so if I butcher some names, I apologise. But she wrote Subway is overrated. Massive. That is massive. I agree. It used to be good, but they've obviously cut corners or something. They're trying to get a bit too much money because they're not putting in to the integrity of the sub. Camp Ballantyne, Milo and Hot Milk. I'm not sure whether Cam's for or against it, but I believe Milo is a cold drink. But I think that's the popular opinion, or is it? It might be unpopular. I think in your head, if you go, I want a glass of Milo, or like, I, I want a Milo, you think cold milk, fresh out of the fridge, give you those chills as it goes down your spine when that first bit of Milo clogs your throat and you start choking. But yeah, I, I would think that Milo, as the default, like a Milo drink would be cold. Marcus Boyce said... Put the milk in before the cereal. Marcus, that is outrageous. It just doesn't float in. It just sits up the, up the top. I, I think it's a good tactic if you want your cornflakes crunchy because they would stay crunchier. But um, I'm a big, you know, you, you pick out how much cereal you want and then you put the milk over the top. And you probably put it over the top. Uh, like You probably just cover it if that. Like, there's probably a bit of cereal sitting up the top when you've poured your milk in, in my opinion. But the milk in before the cereal, that is outrageous, Marcus. Michael, wet toothbrush, put toothpaste on, no need to wet it again. No, I, I reckon wet the toothbrush is a great call. Toothpaste on, and then I reckon you give it one last splash, but you can't overdo it, otherwise you might lose the toothpaste down the sink, which is always annoying because you... You don't want to dig that one up from the sink and put it back on the toothbrush. You're probably going to reload there, but that's just a little bit too dry. I'm almost like a, a, a quick scrub and then wet the toothbrush again and, and chuck it in. Um, I need it well lubricated. Alex, Red Rooster is the best fast food chain out there. I'm not sure anyone's got that opinion, so that is as unpopular of an opinion as it can get. They've got a few good things. like You can get a roast chook and stuff, which seems like a, <laughs> a nice little string to their bow, but yeah, once again, in my opinion... Red Rooster would have to be so far down the bottom you can't even see them. Like, I'm trying. I've got my binoculars out and I'm trying to see where they are. And all I can see is schnitz and grilled in the way. And, you know, maybe a Nando's just above Red Rooster. But they're so far down the, the ladder that I can't see Red Rooster on my uh, ladder of food chains. But once again, Alex, I respect you putting yourself out there. Caden. K-A-D-E-N, Caden, is better than C-A-D-E-N. I sort of agree. Um, it's got to be, maybe because I'm just so used to seeing the C-A-D-E-N. I don't know. That K-A-D-E-N, it sort of hit me a bit different here. Oh, I, <laughs> there's something about it. I sort of, I'm thinking about a bit of a rebrand to Kados with a K, but um, yeah. Oh, it's, it's touch and go, but very similar structure. But I, I think I still like the K a little bit better. Nico. Great call. This is a great one. Apple Music is better than Spotify. Holy dooly. Not for me. I'm, I'm a Spotify man myself. I think I just got sick of Apple Music. Like, I was sort of a real iTunes man for a long time. Committed to the company for a long time with iTunes. And when they transitioned to Apple Music, I just thought about my uh, my decision a little bit and um, ended up signing with Spotify. So, I'm with Spotify just on a bit of a monthly contract. I think it's about $10 a month. But... Um, I may rethink that at the end of the year, but yeah, for me, Spotify is probably better, but I don't have any real reason besides that's who I listen to. Ferg says that Test Cricket is the best format. Um, it is pretty good. It's definitely better than one day as Test Cricket, but for me, being a tiktok and millennial, that just made me sound like I was 95 years old, didn't it? Yeah, well, for me personally, I'm a massive T20 man, and I'm a massive um, domestic T20 man. Like, I sort of... I get a bit more invested in the stars than I would like Australia playing T20, which I think makes sense because they play a genuine tournament. Jack Tobin, the killer's best song isn't Mr. Brightside. It is all the things that I have done. Jack, that is an unpopular opinion, but I love it. I love it. I reckon the killer's best song is Read My Mind. Really tickles the heartstrings every time I hear it, but that's a great one. Going against Mr. Brightside is brave and courageous, and I, I like what you've done there, to be honest. And yeah, I sort of think the same. I don't think Mr. Brightside is their best song, but I think Brandon Flowers seeing the check that rolls in every month would probably uh, probably say something different. Antonio, our smartphones are the most dangerous device humans have ever touched. I agree. I feel dumber. Um, I feel less focused. I feel like I'm developing ADHD. I feel like I can't think for myself ever since getting an iPhone. So, um, But then again, what else am I going to do with my 90 years on this planet? I'd rather turn into a bit of an ape looking at TikToks than 
be a smart guy staring at the ceiling at night. So, you know, it comes with the territory. Molly, showering in the morning is gross because you go to sleep with day dirt on you. I think you shower before bed, preferably, because you're clean in bed. I'm, I'm both, to be honest. Like, I'll shower before I go to bed and then I'll shower when I wake up. Because if you wake up after showering the night before and just go to work i think that's a bit gross yeah and i just feel gross in the morning like my hair my throat my everything's just a bit gross so i'm a real um yeah shower at night and shower in the morning but i like that call people who go through their day to day and then don't shower before bed it freaks me out a little bit <laughs> slogger oak is better than big m that is a massive call i'm a big m man cookson's an oak man but um yeah big m chalky milks for mine are are the only ones you can go for. I can't really stand the oak. They taste like um, like a nippies, I reckon. I reckon oak's a little bit closer to nippies than Big M. And back in the day, I used to, like our school would only have nippies and I used to drink them and go, this is just a poor man's Big M. So that's where I got the, um, the idea that the oak flavor and the nippies flavor was less than Big M because I just thought that nippies was some cheap chalky milk that the school brought in. <laughs> I'm like... Pull your finger out. Pay for the premium stuff, please. Anyway, guys, that is my video on <laughs> unpopular opinions. I like to divide the nation with opinions. It's uh, It's got a bit of big calls about it, doesn't it? But um, yeah, I appreciate everyone who chimed in. And I'll do this again sometime soon. I had a lot of fun. But anyway, I appreciate the support. I appreciate all the opinions. And I'll see you all very, very soon.